It was mid-January on the tramway. Christmas and New Year had gone. All the partying was over and the decorations had been taken down. And now it was back to business. But there were a few problems. The whole tramway had been covered in a blanket of snow after a snowstorm the night before. When the trams woke up, their engines were so cold they couldn't start. Only Patsy was fully functional. Being the most modern tram, she had a high-tech engine that could resist the cold. Well, well, well. Looks like you lot need new engines. Luckily, mine can't resist the cold conditions. Otherwise, the trams would... would come to a standstill. But, 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 a lot of the t t tramway will grain to a halt. Y y you can't... Do all of the jobs at the same t t t time. Rubbish! I can do more work than all of you combined. Remember, I am the strongest in this yard. Stop bickering! Thanks for that, Sam. Morning, all. Is everyone alright? I am, but I think the others have engine troubles. Ah, oh, I had a feeling this would happen. But I didn't think it'd affect them all. This is gonna cause absolute chaos. Well, um, uh, when Sam is pretty that Bruno, Best and Albert and Eric with their engines, I gave him a small budget so he could only get poor quality engines. Cheap scapegoat. Hey, I had financial problems. Sure you did. Anyway, arguing's not gonna get us anywhere. I bought some top-notch engines, like Patsy's. Even though each engine cost me five grand of my hard-earned money. Uh... Sir, wake up! WAKE UP! <laughs> Look, Sam, a snow angel! <laughs> oh dear, this isn't good. He's having hallucinations after spending so much money in one go. Come on, sir. Wake up! Uh, is that a 20? Sorry about that. As I was saying, over the next few days you'll be given brand new engines and new cooling systems like Patsy's. Hooray! Hooray! Albert, you're first. Patsy, you'll have to do your best to do as much as work as you can. The rest of you will have to stay here. I can't let Patsy work alone. Isn't there a quicker way to get the new engines in? Hmm. An over-double-decker boss. He could collect some of the workmen from far away and bring them here to help. But if we do that, Patsy will have to take you all to the workshop in one trip. Don't you worry. I can take these guys easily. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> Another party? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, not today. We have serious work to do. Bruno, Albert, Preston and Eric are having new electrical systems like Patsy's. I'd better go and start work. Later, boys. Oh, great. What are you doing here, Lambert? I'm dropping the engines off. Now that you've all broken down, it's time for us vehicles to take over! <laughs> Victory is ours at last! <laughs> Shh! 
Sam, is there any way to get the job done faster? We can't let Lambert and the vehicles take over. With these workmen here, we can work a lot faster, but I can't guarantee that you'll all be fixed any sooner than four days. Don't worry you lot, Sam is the best, you know that, and these workmen are specialists, so you're all in safe hands. I shall show Mr. Bells that vehicles are much better than those silly trams. <laughs> He saw a big snow drift ahead. His driver applied the brakes hard, but his tyres couldn't grip the snowy roads. Three days had passed, and the tramway was still covered in snow. And so was Lambert. <laughs> Patsy was the only tram in the depot. She was lonely. <sighs> Everything's so quiet now the others are away. I wish there was someone here I can talk to. Hey Patsy, how are things? <gasps> Bruno! But I thought Sam said you'd be ready in four days, but it's only been three! Since I'm the youngest of the original four trams, my electrical system is just as modern as yours, so all I needed was a new engine. When they did that, they connected my electrics up, and I was off! Great! Let's get started! Since the trams went to the workshop, Profits have gone downhill fast. Why do these things always happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's Bruno. He's back. Woohoo! With another tram on duty, we're back in business. Soon, Patsy and Bruno were working very hard. But with the passenger numbers growing, they started to struggle again. That night at the depot, Patsy and Bruno were very tired. Albert came around the bend and stopped in front of Bruno and Patsy. Hey, Patsy. Missed much? But Patsy didn't answer. She was so tired that she had fallen asleep. And so did Bruno. Bruno? Patsy? Oh, what's the point? Oh well, I'd better get some sleep too. The next morning, Preston and Eric rolled into the depot. When they stopped, Preston's doors opened and Mr. Wells, Sam and his dog, Poochie, stepped out. Poochie had a spanner in his mouth and Sam was trying to get it out. Poochie, give me my spanner! Come on, give me the spanner! Let go of the spanner! Ouch! Oh, that hurt. Sorry, Albert. Hello, you two. I guess you've got new engines too. Yep, it took all night, but they're finally in. Yay, the gang's all here. But I need one of you to rescue Lambert. He's stuck in a snowdrift. I will. How do you know that he's stuck when most of the time you just stay up there in your office? His driver called four days ago. But I decided to leave him there. That should give him his attitude a bit of his cooling off. Everyone else, your usual jobs. Come along, Sam. Okay, but I've got to... <laughs> Captain Hook, Lambert's stuck under a snowdrift and we need your help. Hey, no problem, Sam. We'll have him on no time. Soon, Captain Hook was hooked on to Preston. The workman climbed aboard and Preston set off. That's good. The snow's melting. Come on, guys. Let's get Lambert out and onto the captain's flatbed. Sam and the workman dug as fast as they could, and soon Lambert was free. Oh, very, very thank you. Oh, oh. oh, what's the damage, Sam? His engine and all his electrics have frozen. 
they need to be replaced. Uh, and uh, how much will that cost? Around seven thousand. Seven thousand? <sighs> oh no, not again. So wake up. Sam, I want my cheese now. Um, we'd better leave Sam to try and sort Mr. Wells out. Goodbye, everybody.